I play Adolf Eichmann, who was known as the architect of the Holocaust, who drew up the list of millions who died and was uh, probably the most uh, murderous and dangerous member of the Nazi party in Germany. Oscar Isaac's character and my character were not on the same side. We were both trying to manipulate one another as characters and therefore that demands a great deal of trust between actors. And I found that the trust that developed under Chris Weitz's direction was admirable. Here's what's interesting about this movie is not many studios make movies like this that are period, epic, have a big scale and are spy-driven stories but have a dramatic core at their center and, and are complex character-driven movies. And it's a testament to MGM's passion for telling this story that is not widely enough known and getting it out to the world in a massive, big studio, big screen way. And we're just so grateful for them for seeing and having the vision to understand that Chris Weiss was going to do something extraordinarily special with Oscar and Ben and the entire cast. So we're just so, so thrilled to be here. It's surreal to see it on the big screen and to be celebrating it tonight. At the time, there were much bigger threats to Israel and to the Jewish people than a Nazi who'd escaped 20 years earlier and fled and was living in the middle of rural Argentina. But what the catharsis meant to bring this guy to justice and have the true story told about what happened and to never let that die was incredibly powerful. Well, the challenges of doing a film like this are, are first of all, entertaining the audience, which is kind of your first uh, requirement, but also trying to stay true to the story, uh, also trying to uh, teach people something about the period, and make them think without it being kind of medicinal, like they got to eat their broccoli. Uh, I think we made a pretty good balance of that. It's an entertaining film, uh, but uh, hopefully it's, it also makes you think about stuff. I play Sylvia Herman, who was a real girl, and she was 15 or 16 when this was all going on. And she uh, was dating Klaus Eichmann, who was Adolf Eichmann's son, but she didn't know. She was also being raised by her father, who was a Holocaust survivor, um, but she was being raised thinking she was German, kind of for protection. Her dad was trying to protect her. Uh, and throughout the course of the, the movie and in real life this happened, she finds out that she's Jewish. She find out, finds out the truth of her father and his past and who this evil, evil man is whose son she's dating. You're definitely dealing with like um, um, an important piece of history, and there's an obligation to to the story and uh, and the real people that were involved. But um, you know, surrounded by a great cast and crew, and working with some of the best, and Ben Kingsley and Oscar, I felt like in, in in good hands, and it was just an exciting project to be a part of. It was a story I didn't know much about, uh, so I think it'll be enlightening in that way for many people. But I think also the moral questions it brings about and um, the questions that it asks um, are important to take away and think about. It's an incredibly important story to tell because uh, this is a film that really examines what, what evil looks like. Uh, and we've, we've gone to great lengths to kind of show, e even in the form that we think it presents itself in today, i.e. a very human, very relatable, uh, almost familial form. Uh, you know, the way we've tried to portray Adolf Eichmann in this movie is as a family man, as a worker, as someone who is preoccupied with the normal day-to-day um, -day humdrum life. Working with Oscar Isaac and working with Ben Kingsley has been an absolute dream. They both have very different styles, but brought together, uh, it's produced this incredible alchemy. And I think one of the things that people are going to really respond to in the in the, in the film uh, are the scenes of the two of them sort of locking horns. It's yeah, it's really something to watch. Well, the movie was very exciting because it's really like the story about a team who wants to kill one of the biggest evil in the Nazis world and and they stuck with him for like 10 days in the same house so there is so many tension and so many very interesting philosophic questions how do you do how do you deal with like an evil in front of you
I play Rafi Eitan, who is one of the uh, organizers of this mission. Uh, and Rafi's goal was to bring together the best team that they could to capture uh, Adolf Eichmann and organize his extraction uh, back to Israel to stand trial. Well, I think we all wanted to pay proper homage to the, the real people who, who uh, live this story and also so many of the people who are Holocaust survivors who were directly and indirectly touched by the events of the Holocaust and everything that followed. To me, what's interesting about how uh, Chris and, and Matt Orton, who wrote the script and everybody involved, to tell the story about the trickiness of the morality of, of different people's humanity, both the good guys and the bad guys, and trying to strike that balance of realizing that everybody's a human being. I really liked how Oscar Isaac played my dad. Uh, you know, my father was not as good looking as Oscar Isaac, although if he was alive, he would argue that he was. I play Peter Malkin, who uh, uh, was a member of the Mossad, who uh, came to Argentina to help capture and extract uh, Adolf Eichmann, the architect of the Final Solution, back to Israel to stand trial. He starts to talk to him and have conversations with him to try to, to understand uh, how someone could do this and ultimately to get him to sign to agree to go back to Israel. Well, what was great is I, I, I was fortunate enough to have a book uh, by the character that I play called Eichmann in My Hands, and that's what the script was based on. So Peter Malkin, the character that I play, this, uh, this is his autobiography. And so uh, with that, uh, he's, he's so, such, so great at painting a picture of what was happening and, uh, and what was happening in his mind and what he had to do in order to get this, this monster to, to get him to Israel and uh, actually to treat him like a human being, which I feel like is the most courageous thing he could possibly do. So I was really fortunate to have that as my Bible. It was really fulfilling, uh, challenging as well, but fulfilling, because I do believe that this was the final story on the Second World War and especially the Holocaust. Sir Ben Kingsley is uh, a sweet man and a gentleman, and Oscar Isaac is uh, the sweetest of them all. He's an angel, uh, so it couldn't have been better. Uh, it was great, it was great. Such a brilliant cast. I mean, I, I love Oscar for the stuff he's done. Um, but of course, Sir Ben is a living legend. And getting to to even like get get a, get a little peek of how how they work and, and their work ethics and all the talent that they have and how they put it into the characters that was uh, that was breathtaking. It's very important to uh, keep as as alive as possible um, the memory of all the people who have died during during the Holocaust. Uh, like they they are leaving us, you know. Their voices uh, will at one point not be heard anymore, and it is very important that we um, keep up their memory.